Praise the Lord. I want to talk about the power of sacrifice, the meaning, the mystery, and the making of sacrifice. And this is not the ultimate sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross of Calvary. This is totally your own sacrifice to fight your battle. That battle that has challenged your life, challenged the God in you, challenged your faith, and everything seemed not to work. Even everything they told you, the teachings you've received over the years seem to have crumpled. You don't even know what you believe anymore. All you know is that you know whom you believe, in whom you've believed. All you know is that Jesus will not leave you nor forsake you. And beyond this point, an average pastor do not know what else to do. They have exhausted prayer, fasting, counseling, and sowing seed. And when they've done that, they don't know what else to do. And your case seems to have come to a standstill, or you don't even know what to do. And remember, I always say that people who don't know what to do either do nothing or do the wrong thing, which is an invitation for disaster because everybody's problem is a mountain of their ignorance. And you cannot go beyond the light or revelation you've received. Without revelation, there's no elevation. So today, we are dealing with revelation of the power of sacrifice. Well, you ask me, what about other giving I've been doing in the past? And this is where I answer your question. A sacrifice is very specific, is very direct. It's not your tithe. It's not your offering. Sacrifice is not your seed. It's not your regular or yearly first fruit. Sacrifice is totally different. Sometimes it's called your battle seed. Sometimes it's called sacrificial offering. Sometimes it's called accelerate sacrificial seed. It goes by a different name. But you target it to a particular bleeding problem, intractable problem, or delay, or in an issue that has bugged you that you don't even know what to do anymore. And you've consulted preachers and everyone else, and they don't seem to help. You may even have gone through deliverance. And what I call deliverance circuit, going from one deliverance minister to the other, one deliverance program to the other, one big preacher to the other, and they cannot help you. Well, this is why I am doing this teaching right now about sacrifice. In fact, the more sacrifice you make, the more you rise and the greater you become as an overcomer. Sacrifice doesn't beg blessings and breakthrough to come. It compares and guarantees blessings and turn around because of who God is. God is deity. He is the ultimate God of sacrifice. He keeps covenant, not necessary prayer, even though he is a prayer answering God. He is always mindful of his covenant. And you cannot talk about covenant and sacrifice without talking about altar. They are linked together. Because the power of the altar is the strength of the sacrifice. Both the quantity and the quality of the sacrifice is necessary to achieve your turnaround and your breakthrough. Sacrifice is something that is expensive to you, is costly, is there, is rare, is very valuable. And then it is something you drop at the altar of God with tears, telling God that I am dropping this, I'm giving you this, I'm offering you this, which is my valuable gift to you for a greater, bigger, higher, more permanent, and much more transcendent turn around because you know that when the battle turns 
it becomes your turn. When the battle turns, everything turns around for you. Favor comes. Elevation comes. Victory is guaranteed. Increase. Miracle. Breakthrough. And what have you is guaranteed, child of God. What prayer cannot do? Fasting, counseling, prophecy, deliverance secured cannot do. Sacrifice does it without a, a hitch or hesitation. Life is about sac- sacrifice, transactions and exchange. Sacrifice is not a casual offering or the usual tip or donation people give to God. is something of value you give in exchange for bigger, higher, greater reward which you are ref- requesting from the Lord. An uncommon sacrifice will provoke an uncommon miracle of turnaround. I can't say that enough. You make the sacrifice in the name of Jesus by the Holy Spirit. Grace, greatness, restoration, an accelerated destiny fulfillment are products of sacrifice. Now, I want you to understand something here. The more sacrifice you make, the more you rise, the greater you become. David said, I will not offer to God what did not cost me money. Do you know Solomon came and offered a thousand bullock to God at Gibor? When he did it at Gibor, God did not send an angel. He did not send Jesus Christ. He did not send a prophet. He came immediately. He couldn't even allow Solomon to sleep. He showed up by himself. You can imagine God tackling your problem by himself. Not through angel, not through prophecy, not through any other means, but by himself. Victory is guaranteed. No questions about that. So when Solomon saw the seed, God showed up, gave him everything that he was looking for, his heart desire, and added more. And that's the strength and why sacrifice is necessary. Sacrifice can be the only thing that can save your life. I always hear people that tell me, oh, I've prayed and prayed. I've gone to this preacher, I've gone to that preacher. The problem is stay there where the answer is in sacrifice. As long as you are living in holiness, you are living in purity, you are living seeking God, your heart is in God, your mind is in God, you've done everything to obey God, and yet the problem is not solved, well, try sacrifice. Should I say don't even try, try as a liar. Give sacrifice. Give again and give again, especially when it comes to family and foundational issues or witchcraft without sacrifice you cannot do anything to accept to succeed or receive turn around when witches are involved when wizards or cultists are involved when marine author which is very stubborn is involved or that court case that has dragged or child court study or that paper that you're looking for, whatever that it is or document that you are looking for, it's only by sacrifice that crank it open. Don't let no preacher deceive you. You must give something in an exchange for your sacrifice. You're not buying miracle. You're not buying blessings. Nobody can buy God or things of God or the blessings of God or God's victory or grace those are invaluable they are priceless you cannot get anything from god by trying to bribe god or give him a tip or donation radical problem demand radical solution and sacrifice is the answer amen now child of god i want you to see this Let's go to Psalm 50, verse 5 and 15. And I read, God is saying something here. God is declaring something. God is proclaiming something and affirming something and even asking himself and talking to himself. And let's see what he's saying and let's pick it up from the New King James Version 
in Psalm 50, verse 5. Gather my sins together to me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. Verse 15. In the place of sacrifice, we see God clearer. We enter more fully and more deeply into him. We understand him more. We place position and path in covenant with him. is made clearer and deeper and higher. And we begin to see and enact and appropriate all that he has provided and made available to us. You also understand, child of God, that you cannot walk in higher realms of dominion, divine promotion, and kingdom prosperity without sacrifice. Any major breakthrough in your life, a miracle of turnaround is provoked by a painful sacrifice, not a casual offering. Like I said, sacrifice is not buying blessings or paying for your miracles or deliverance. It's a major part of your worship and dedication to God. Call it devotion, call it consecration, call it worship. No worship is complete without a sacrificial offering. If you offer God what costs you nothing, you gain nothing in return. And you know, people have this Western mentality whereby they think that everything is free. We call it the spirit of Arona. David came to make sacrifice. And Arona said, take it free. And the, the king said, no, I cannot offer to God what did not cost me money. And he offered Arona the due price of his land. And then from there, according to divine instruction, he offered sacrifice to God. And the plague was stayed. The people were saved. They received victory and turnaround and restoration. Now, you discover that sacrifice always provoke God. Sacrifice make God to open doors, open heaven. Angelic majesty is triggered. Why? Angels will begin to fight on your behalf. Angels are dispatched. Angels are released. Angels take their position. They fight your battle because God is on the scene by himself. And when God is on the scene, all the host of heaven, all the army of heaven, surrounds you, fight for you, goes for you, delivers you. So, child of God, if you understand how to fight authors or fight from God author, then sacrifice is mandatory. Sacrifice is so powerful that it can solve any problem. But I always encourage people to make it specific, direct, and make it unique. Don't just talk about all other seed you've been sowing. If it's a specific area, a specific challenge, a specific problem, a precise issue that has bugged you, that has been a challenge. Because God is very specific. God is very definite. God is very, very accurate. There's no try and miss, no hit and miss, no guesswork in God, no speculation in God. God is very specific and direct. And it's a way to release your faith. It's a way to reenact and cement and solidify the covenant relationship you have with God. And covenant do not fail. His covenant will he not utter. In that will he utter the very thing that has gone out of his mouth. God is a prayer answering God, but it's a covenant keeping God. Covenant is guaranteed. And, you know, if you want to really look more into what sacrifice can do, you can read the whole of Psalm 20. Psalm 20 talks about God remembering your offering, remembering your sacrifice, that you will not let you alone, that you will come from his sanctuary in heaven and taking your case, take your problem, and he solves it. He brings in everything in him that make him God, 
That's why he's God. No other person can solve the problem. No other channel, avenue, no other minister, not even angels, not prophet can solve it. When you give sacrifice, you don't even need too much prayer. God takes over the issue. God is available or appears, or should I say manifest in the scene. God now shows you why he's God. And that's why he's deity. He's the only one that demands, that requires worship, sacrifice, and covenant. Any other covenant is evil, is demonic, is ungodly. And it's funny, even the people in the demonic realm dominate the spiritual airwaves, dominate the search engine of the spirit realm, just like Google, dominate that of the natural. But if you know how to set up altar and make sacrifice continuously, all the background problem, family issue, dream pollution, the demon still disturbing you in the dream will cease because God has seen your heart. God will thunder and defend you by reason of sacrifice. He will release the Holy Spirit and your dream will be in the hand of the Holy Spirit under Holy Ghost envelope, under Holy Ghost security, under Holy Ghost protection, under Holy Ghost power and presence. When God secures your dream, no demon will mess with your dream life or your dream space or your destiny or manipulate your God-given, God-ordained plan and purpose. Thank you. God bless you, Dr. Ozo. We always have deliverance every Wednesday at 3.30 to 6.30 p.m. And then our location is 3565 Foster Road, Marietta, Georgia, 30008. God bless you. Bye-bye, Dr. Ozo.